Right here, right here. The big one's just there, that's the big one. See which one got it. Oh, uh, little oh. one got you. That ain't a little one. It ain't little, but. <laughs> BJ, BJ, right here, there's one underneath us, underneath us, right here, right here. So you got it? Oh, you got him. <laughs> oh, that's how you want to hit him, huh? You don't want to straighten them hooks out. <laughs> That's a big cove. Here, let's try doing the what, the, the cobia two-step shuffle up here. That's a nice cobia there. Yeah, that's a big cove. That's 30 pounder. Now the now the size limit on cobia is what? It's 33 inches, and you can only keep one per person or up to six per boat. Yeah. Whichever's less, we go over you. That's a nice fish you got. Yeah, man. God, that's a nice one. All right. Feisty little devils, aren't they? How you doing back there, BJ? Good, good. He's up by the surface. I right, tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and land this guy. Throw him in the box. Yeah, it's right by his feet. Your dad requested one himself, and I'm sure my dad sees this show. He's gonna say, where's my cobia? Because <laughs> he loves these guys. So, get it ready. All right, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold that, please. Ah, two fists in it. Hurry up, Mike's coming towards me. Jigs out, fish in the box. How about that? Good job. It's just staying deep. Well, if they don't get big being dumb. <laughs> wow, these are nice cobia. Strong fish, all muscle. Yeah, they'll, they'll, what a cubby will pull you as hard as you pull it a lot of times until they get in the box. This guy's putting up a fight. That's a nice fish, man. With all the banks out here, the fish just keep moving through and hanging on these spots throughout the day. Like, really? there's three big fish weren't here when we got here, and they just, they come in on the surface. That like one that. actually looks pretty, a little bit bigger than the biggest one we saw. Yeah. What do you think he is, 40? Probably 40. 40, brother. On 20-pound we'll power play. pro. He sure is like in the back of this boat. He must like getting a look, look at them new E-Tex. Hey, do those things get us out of here pretty quick or what? Those are about the fastest motors, fastest boat I've been on. And this thing's 35, 35 foot. Oh man, look at the size of this cove. Anyway, the cobia, it was about this size and when we gaffed him, my dad didn't know about green cobia. And this cobia was right next to the boat and he was just holding him there and he stayed green. But that's Woo! a nice one. That's a big one. How about that, brother? That's a big cove. That is a nice cove. Hold on a second, let me get this gaff out and show him. Okay, grab that pointy end, please. Look at that jig head. Oh, laser sharp eagle claw stayed right in the side of that head. Perfect. And there you go. That's a cobia. If I can find that picture, we'll flash it up of me and my dad, but I was a lot younger. Hair white from surfing, about like yours is now. About your age. Nice cobia. Y'all stay coffee. tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing. What are we gonna do next? Welcome back. You probably can't tell from looking at the water. It's a little bit dirtier, but we have changed spots. We're gonna see what happens. It's another spot out here that BJ fishes quite often. There's a ton of spots out here. Came over with the Ray Marine, saw the bottom, it was loaded up with fish. There he is. Fish on, brother. Get him out of that mud? Yep. Oh, I think it's Mr. Grouper. Could be Mr. Stingray, too. There he goes. He got up. you around the anchor? I don't know what he's, no, he's not around the anchor. He went into a hole or something. It's probably a grouper. If it's a grouper, it's a nice one. I'd like to have a grouper. Have a grouper sandwich too. <laughs> Anything following? Uh, no. Yeah, it is oh, a, a nice grouper. Nice red. grouper. A red? Yeah. I wonder if that's a pilot in front of me. They're pretty. You know, red grouper, gray grouper, or what, gray and a gag the same or what? Yeah, yeah, they, some people call them gray grouper, some people call them gag grouper. Here, let me grab this guy if I could. 
show you why they call them red grouper. They got a red tint to them. And their mouth is a beautiful orange in color. Look at that, a DOA cow jig head. There's your red grouper. See the mouth? Isn't that beautiful inside there? Red grouper. What do you think? What's keeper size on them guys? 20 inches. It's about 17 or 18. There's a nice one. We'll let him go. Y'all can come back book next month. Well, let me take a minute and I'm going to show you what we're using here today. Captain BJ broke the Calusa cast nut out a little earlier and went and caught a bunch of pilchards. That's basically what we've been using today, these guys and some pinfish also. How I'm rigging them up, I got a little three quarter ounce DOA, it's a big, one of the biggest cow jig heads that they make. And all we're doing is taking the uh, pilchards, hooking them kind of deep, throwing them over the wreck and just bouncing them on the bottom. 40 to 60 pound fluorocarbon leader, I always like using the fluorocarbon. I've always said, even at my seminars, um, if using fluorocarbon brings me one or two more bites during the day, it's, it's definitely done its job. So always fluorocarbon also too, is just the abrasion resistance of it's really good. Using a uni to uni knot, using 60 pound test power pro and uh, medium action 14 to 35 pound test rod and we're catching a grouper. There's your bait check for today. Y'all can come down here and book Captain BJ and catch you a bunch of fish. What you got there? It feels like a grouper. Might be a cobe. Yeah, I think it's a cove. <laughs> what were you just saying? A covey might be coming up? They like the slack tide. Okay. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Whack. They're whacking him in the head. <laughs> well, looks like you might have yourself a grown one there, BJ. Feels like a good one. Damn, be careful. You want me to get these in? They're fine now. Huh? They're not in the way right now. Yep, Kobe. Uh, little Kobe. Little guy. He's a little guy. It's been a Kobe a day, that's for sure. Let's get him up here. I'll show this one off, too, before we let him go. to go nuts right at the boat, don't they? Uh, come on in, dude. We'll invite you in here for a second, and we'll let you go. The first key. That'll work. <laughs> Hook popped right out. Nice. <laughs> come here, dude. Nice little cobia. We're going to let this guy go. So anybody wants to come book BJ here, come catch you a cobia. Get out of here, dude. And off to fight another day. Captain BJ, let me tell you, this has been an awesome day. Right off a of marathon, Florida Keys. If y'all ever want to do this, come catch Gag Grouper. It's, it's been a Cobia day today, right beginning of springtime. And the Cobia are going to run for how long? Into, all They'll through be here the summer? For, no, no, about another month and a half, two months. They'll cool. be showing up on the ocean side now for the next month. Great. They'll start leaving, the big tarpon will come in. So right in the springtime, right before the tarpon show up here in the Keys, yeah. stuff jumping all around the boat, yeah. man. There's, there's life everywhere down here. Hey, y'all want to come do this? Right to the website. Y'all can book him. Captain B.J. Meyer, right out of Marathon, the Florida Keys. Till next week, the website at dickandfishing.com. <laughs>